asked me to stop with get a video of the baby goats of frolicking. That way they could play and you can see how they carry on here now. And they are um, a week old uh, Monday and Tuesday, Monday when they was born last week. And that would have been uh, the twenty. The 20 what was it, Dennis, back then? 22nd. 22nd of last week. And, uh, or the 27th, rather. Yeah, 27th, yeah, that's what it was. And, uh, 27th of, uh, the, 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 Get my mind calculating here. 27th of, uh... November. November. And we just thought we'd let you see him frolicking. And, uh... Then here they are playing. We got some name. We got Lacey and, um... Uh, Gracie. Chum Gremlin. Oh, and there's a grim one, that smallest one. <laughs> and then we're going to start having um, live streams if you all interested. Finally got my computer fixed, cost a hundred dollars to put a new brain in it, whatever they call it. A couple more bouncing around. And, uh, so if you want to, you can, oh, he's going to try to eat her tail. <laughs> That's a him. And, uh. What are you doing, Gremlin? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> there they go, frolicking. Yeah, they're frolicking. I just love how they jump straight up in there and right back down. The littlest boy and the biggest boy. Them two more. That's a little female. Out in there is Gremlin's sister. That one and that one's brother and sister in the brother. His sister's about twice his size. Here, Dennis, show him our dinner for the night. After it gets cooked on the... Yeah, we're going to be having a roast and potatoes, carrots, and onions. Uh, all that stuff right there on top is a lifting onion soup mix we put in ours. I took it for... Never got my potatoes down in there yet. My carrots. Uh -huh. So I have to play with it for a while and get my carrots down in there a little bit farther. Yeah. It's a pork loin. And we cut it in three, and we're going to cook it on our wood-burning stove. Uh -huh. But it's not our Amish stove, but it is an Amish stove, but it's Amish heating stove it's to keep the stove. house warm. But it's not my Amish wood-burning cook stove yet. I ain't never got it hooked up yet. Once I get that all hooked up, I'll show you how to make biscuits and gravy and all kinds of goodies on it. Cannon. Yeah, I'll be busy on that, on that. Oh, yeah. And then we'll, uh, have a lot of videos with that. Biscuits and gravy and... DJ, get me some water. Of course, I could put broth on it, but I don't want... I don't have no pork broth. I just have chicken and beef. So it won't do no good. Just keep going around in circles. And there's ones in there bouncing around as well. They call that frolicking. Frolicking, bouncing around, same difference. I never found a piece of wood trying to figure out what it does. Just keep jumping on and off of it. And there's the stove room right here, the wood, the wood burn stove we're talking about. And there is our old pile of wood we got. I'm going to be having some more brung here today. That's the wood burning stove. And we got the goats in here playing, bouncing around. Yeah, they're sitting here playing, bouncing around. Fun thing about goats, what they like to do. Especially when they're little, when they get older, they'll come out of it. Get that back where it goes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we love each and every one of you. And just thank you. There you can get me that lid. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thank you.
thank you for being part of the fam. And like I said, you have to stay tuned because you never know when I'm going to get my stove fixed around here. And uh, I'm surprised that what, from one day to the next what goes on around here at times. But I had my wig on it probably start spinning. And uh, well, uh, we've had a lot of changes around here in 2020. Gonna have another crystal water for crystal uh um what do you call that thing? A review. review. We got some more. They had a big old sale last weekend. Black Friday. And so we uh turned around and uh Joshua bought me some water for crystal seahorse candlesticks. And Dennis got me a, a cross box by Marquee by Waterford and it was all on sale four dollars a month for the uh, four dollars and twenty five cents for the cross box and uh, was it not twelve dollars and something for the candle six months for six months and it's six months twelve forty four for the candle sticks <laughs> it matches my bowl uh -huh. I got three of those uh, Waterford crystal Seahorse bowls, and so um, one of these days I'll have my house all did up, and then I'll let you see all that happening when it starts happening. But right now the baby goats are in here, and once it's all fancy, I wouldn't care if I had a mansion. I'd still have my goats in the house in the winter time. I had that ever since that fox got a hold of that one about killing. I keep them in the house. Uh huh. Because I know short up one to get killed. Poor little things up on the mountain. About died. Well, thank you for liking and subscribing. And when that meat is done, I'll let you see what it looks like on the plate here in just a little bit. Okay, bye bye. Okay, this here's what it looks like after it comes out of the pot. That's your roast. It really, it's a pork loin. And then here's your carrots and onions and potatoes and some butter. And what we do is we cook them for a couple hours on the wood burning stove. And then you take it out. And then you take and um, sorry about that. And then you take it out and take some potatoes and stuff. I love it. And pitch you some. Um, what was that stuff I put on top there? Pot roast seasoning mix. Pot roast seasoning mix that you put in a pot roast and pit it in or stir it up a little bit in your juice. And then it gets uh, thicker juice and it makes it um, makes it taste a whole lot better. Then, But if you do it prior to, it will take and get too thick and then it'll start burning. So you have to do it like that. Then you cook it for another two hours and then it's tender and juicy mm, mm, mm. see how it just falls apart with your fork and see all the juice in it it just falls apart and oh my goodness it is so good so once I get my wood burning cook stove up I'll show you some more stuff that I do so thank you and God bless you and thanks for being part of the fam and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.